What's up guys, it's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with another first look at a recent release and this is the highly anticipated uh, Bullets, 100 Bullets Volume 2. So we do have Volume 1, we do have Volume 1. Yeah, I'm going to go grab it actually while yeah, David yeah. talks to you guys. There about you go. It. So I'm going to put the camera here and I'll go grab it. Yes, uh, good, yeah, and I'll show you the book. So here is the front, as you can see, the spine, and the back. This is the cool, I like the white and then, the, you know, the with the with the, what do you call it, with the red, it makes a nice contrast, the blood, the wine, all that. Here's the book, uh, just the front, as you can see, it's a nice symbol, the spine, and the back. All right, so let's compare it or put it uh, side by side with the uh, volume one of it, so that way you can see how it's gonna look like when you have it up there. So there you go, that's both of them together. So it looks like it's gonna bother some people because one of them is gonna have a black uh, spine and another one's gonna have a white spine, so. Yeah, but maybe they did it that way, like a color contrast yeah. sort of thing, so that's cool, that's nice. But I like the 100 bullets though, it's like the fade and everything, that's cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, it looks like it is a little bit, if you can see, it's a little bit thinner than the first one. I don't know uh, if it's the issue with the paper like we've had before or maybe it's maybe a less story or, you know, a little bit less of the story, but there you go. And just be aware with this one, this one does not collect the miniseries, the Brother Lono. Yeah. Uh, miniseries, so. A lot of people were upset about that or, or you know, you know, it, it, it uh, frustrated them and I'm sorry guys. I don't, I don't make these books. I would have thrown them in there for you. <laughs> like, let's just throw it in there. But now let's uh, just take a look at it. Let's take a look. Okay. So let's see. You know what, I'm going to check for you if it does have a difference uh, or, you know, how many issues are collected to it. Uh, the bookends are just black, which are cool. Sometimes I like a little bit of, you know, a little a little razzle, a dazzle, a spasazzle, wazzle on it. Uh, okay. A little introduction right there. And I've actually... Who told me to read this book, JP? I think uh, a lot of... Uh, Mitch or Chris might have told me to read this one that I would like it a lot. So the style on this is really cool. I like it. It looks nice and let's take a look so this one actually collects uh 100 bullets number 59 through 100 so if you really think about it that's only about 40 or maybe 41 uh, different uh issues well so the first one probably collects 1 through 59 which i am seeing there as well so 1 through 58 so that's actually 58 so that that's where you see the discrepancy in the size it's just this one's actually maybe like 18 are 17 issues less so there you go the cell is modern yeah I, I really do like this you can tell of course whenever you see the gradient like that in the background that they used a computer to make it and it looks good though it looks it looks nice uh, there's definitely a lot of adult stuff on there as you see the uh, on there you know the heads but overall it looks really cool I like it It's a simplistic, uh, like not a lot of detail on the characters, but that uh, that works for it. Uh, you can see uh, it makes the like the blending of the skin right here look really cool, looks really good, and it uh, you know you want to make sure that you focus on the story, not too much on the artwork. Sometimes with other uh, books you definitely want to see the artwork, but this one is definitely about the story. Very bloody as you see there. Oh, this is cool. I like this. You see how the shape makes like the shape of the gun? Oh, sexy. Sexy. Oh, you know what this reminds me a lot of? Let me see. Uh, if you've read uh, Long Long Halloween or Batman's uh, The Long Halloween, that sort of style looks very much like this. It might be the same artist. If it is, please let me know. I don't know if it is, and I'm, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up if it isn't. But it very much reminds me of it. So if it's the same, awesome. See, David knows. David recognizes. I really like the back that, uh, for the most part, the books or all the pages in the back are all black. And now it does have a number on some of them. But a lot of it takes, you, you can see here, for example, there's no number on here because of the whole uh, artwork taking the whole screen, but here, or the whole page, and but here it does have it. You have it here, but you don't have it here. So just keep that in mind. 
uh, it'll have it when it's there's an option for it but for some of them it'll have it open like that so they won't it won't be available for that that's cool and I'm pretty if I'm not mistaken I also believe this finishes the story of 100 bullets you know 100 bullets 100 episodes 100 issues <laughs> it's like it's a show 100 episodes 100 issues uh, and it finishes the story uh, so you know you gotta you gotta that uniformity of a hundred and you've got a hundred there you go Ooh. oh people are getting shot while they're in the act and that sucks that one's really suck there's people dying all over all over guys wow Ooh, knife in the chest Alright, let's take a look at the covers. The yeah, this one's cool. I really like that shadowy, you know, design like that. It reminds me a lot of those like the spy thriller, detective thriller like covers or uh, you know the intros for like let's say um, James Bond, if you remember there's some that looks like that. Uh, that reminds me a lot of this. Very very uh, good use of the negative background or the negative uh, space to make shapes and, and uh, create a cool design. Very cool. This is a cover, of course, for Volume 2. And then a little afterwards right there. And there you go, the book ends. So there you go. That is the end of 100 Bullets, the first look. Uh, guys, like I said, uh, we have both available so you can get Volume 2 and Volume 1 at Organic Prize Books. Complete the collection, read the story, tell me if you like it. Uh, like I said, this is, a, this is on my read list. It's not a priority, but people have told me that's a good story, so I'm like, you know what, I want to read it. Uh, so I probably will, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. There you go. Peace.